So, what I have here is, um, it's not a Kramer guitar, even though it looks like one. It's actually a, a Musicraft guitar. Um, well, it's built from Musicraft parts, and for those of you that don't know, Musicraft are a company in the US who make fantastic guitar bodies and necks. And where I think they really excel is the necks that they make. And I've posted one or two videos already on, uh, on various guitar builds using Musicraft parts. So, I always, uh, growing up in the, in the 80s, I used to uh, drool over the Kramer Beretta type guitars that were endorsed and advertised by Eddie Van Halen. And I always remember the very famous advert where it had Eddie Van Halen holding a tennis racket next to the tennis star Vetus Gerolitis who was holding the guitar, who's sadly no longer with us actually. Um, and I always wanted one of these guitars and of course I could never afford one back in those days they were expensive, I didn't have any money. Um, so I thought it's about time I owned one. So I went to check out some of the new reissued Beretta guitars um, and yeah, they're very nice. They're quite expensive. They're very glossy. I don't really like new, brand new, glossy feeling guitars. I like worn in, old looking guitars. Um, I also didn't really like the neck that much on them, to be quite honest. So I thought, well, why don't I just build my own, spec my own? So what I've done, I've bought uh, the body from Musicraft, which is their Kramer Pacer body which is a basswood body. Um, so I ordered it unfinished. Um, it's very soft, very light wood. And because it's very soft, it dings and marks quite easily, actually, um, when you're handling it. Um, I ordered the neck from Musicraft, which is a um, maple neck with skunk stripe. It's got a 12 inch radius board. It's got an R3 nut, which I think is an inch and 11 sixteenths, 43 mil, if I'm correct. Um, it's got Jumbo 6100 frets on, which I really like. It's got semi-rolled edges to the fingerboard, which gives it that worn-in feel. I ordered it unfinished, so I've just put a couple of thin coats of true oil, true oil on it. Um, so it's already getting a little bit dirty, um, but I like dirty necks. Um, what else? I obviously spec the hockey stick um, headstock on its quarter sawn as well, so it's really stable and it's absolutely fantastic. And it's just usual Musicraft standard. You unpack it, you put it on the guitar, let it settle in, little bit of adjustment, perfect. Fret work is custom shop standard. I can't recommend them more highly. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, so in terms of other hardware, <coughs> um, actually the bridge is, it's not a, uh, a standard Floyd Rose, it's a licensed Floyd Rose which I picked up off the internet, which is an old Shaler one, and it's got Jackson stamped on it, so it's obviously off a Jackson guitar at some point. But it's quite old, functionally it's perfect, but it's nice because the chrome's all dulled, it's got a bit of rust on it, so it's got that, uh, that um, authentic um, relic feel to it. It works really, really well. Um, it's very, very stable. <laughs> Yeah, it works great. Um, the only thing that's different in, in um, my eyes to the original Floyd Rose is that the base plate's a lot thicker and the, retain, the string retaining screws don't stick out sort of three quarters of an inch like the Floyd Rose ones do, the, the standard ones. But it doesn't matter about the footprint of the bridge because it's not recessed, it's top mounted, so I can't really see that makes any difference. But yeah, it works great and looks good. Um, other hardware, I found some original Goto vintage tuners which look nicely aged so I'm guessing they're probably 25 30 years old um, humbucker is a zebra humbucker which is actually a John Sir Doug Aldridge pickup I had lying around I may change that for a more vintage output pickup because this is really high output but it seems like a nice pickup one volume control um, yeah not a lot else to, to, to mention really um, oh I, I modified the heel slightly I took some wood away and put this um, Fender Deluxe type neck plate on here because um, it just gives you a little bit better access. Regarding the paint job, I, I looked at getting, I always wanted a bullseye red and white finish, so I made some inquiries about getting this done. And it was very expensive, and then I thought, well, I'm going to be faced with the same problem that's going to be really shiny and new, etc. So I thought, well, why not have a go myself? So I ordered some nitrocellulose lacquer, red and white. 
I made a template which wasn't easy um, and I've, I've done the spray job myself. It doesn't look bad, it's not perfect, it's got satin lacquer on but it's got that nice dull appearance to it and there's a few marks and dings on it and uh, it actually looks quite good and I actually think it looks quite authentic when you look at the guitar up close. And I will post some pictures at the end of the video of some, some shots of the, of the guitar up close um, for people to have a look at. Uh, let me just get that phone. Okay, typical, we're back. Um, yeah, so, great guitar, absolutely. Lovely.